Robert Foster presenting an update on the most pressing topic of the millennium as we rocket past 400 parts per million into a blaze new world with rising momentum. Humanity's next, really last final chance to take action is the COP21 Climate Summit in Paris, where world leaders will gather again to establish whether or not humans wish to keep inhabiting this planet. We've heard scientists predict an Earth that's unlivable. We've heard skeptics galore and Al Gore from the realm of the political. But will religious figures with their faith in miracles support the scientific principle or side with the cynical? To find out, we're headed to the Vatican, where the spiritual leader of a billion believers will be appearing soon. This is a world exclusive, Pope Francis giving a lyrical recital of his fresh new encyclical. In nomine patriot filiat spiritus sancti, Dope Francis with a revelation for all humanity. The earth is not at the center of the galaxy, the sun is, and actually, the earth moves around it. Wait, sorry, that was an old announcement. Ah, found it. The church thinks Hitler is not good, he's evil. God damn it, that's an old one as well. Wait, people. Ah, here. Man made climate change is no myth, it's real. The Pope has chosen to speak out on the climate. Fratelli Sorelli, the apocalypse is upon us. If you still want to get to heaven on the day of judgment, heed my revised list of the new Ten Commandments. Thou shalt emulate my namesake, Saint Francis of Assisi. Hang out with all creation, animals, plants, and seaweeds. Thou shalt value the earth more than money and wealth. Turn not this planet into an immense pile of filth. Thou shalt have a revolution to avert smoggy darkness and rely not on the magic of technology or the markets. Thou shalt see water as a holy human right that shall not be profited off, polluted, or privatized. Thou shalt maybe consider generations not born yet in all decisions regarding use of resources, like drilling the Arctic, destroying the reef and Amazon forests, causing the sick mass extinction of the planet's fauna. Thou shalt transition as rapidly as possible to renewable energy and divest from fossil fuels. Australia, that means wind and sun rays coming down. Cutting down trees and burning them doesn't count. Thou shalt modify thine own personal frickin' lifestyle. Be not wasteful and diligently recycle. Move thyself away from consumerism. A new frame of mind. Get AFK. Talk to people on the train. Ride a damn bike. Thou shalt heed the cry of the poor of the world. For it is they who are already getting screwed by climate change and who have least blame for tainting ocean and land. Eco-justice and people justice shall go hand in hand. Thou shalt be united with the conviction strong that we are a single human family. We are one with these new commandments we can save the planet go forth christians catholics infidels all humanity make it happen Thank you, Pope Francis, for spinning these commandments. Worldwide, people are praising the Church's advances in calling for radical action on climate change, an issue so contentious. Uh, the Vatican will do anything to remain relevant. You've also received rebuke from those who deny climate change, like Jeb Bush, and I quote, I don't get my economic policy from my bishop, cardinal, or pope. Yeah, he gets it from his Exxon lobbyist, analyst, and CEO. So you say we must care for the poverty-stricken, just like St. Francis, who renounced all possessions. Does this mean the Vatican will share its massive wealth with the people? No, feel your we keep the gold so it doesn't tempt them to evil. Wait, a guest is beaming in at huge speed. It's Terence Moonseed, here to speak to the Holy See. Holy shit, Galabaleptarts, your perception is flawed. This Pope is no different from any that have come before. The Catholic Church is still a malevolent place, full of satanic agents of Dagon, the fish-headed god of the Assyrian race. Look at his fish hat, he's still trying to trap you into praying to a fake deity. The only change is he's now got a PR agent to make you believe. Why else would he be attempting to voice climate change on everyone? We all know that's just a false face of the deadly Agenda 21. The UN's tyrannical plan to use environment ethics to reduce the global populace through microchips and eugenics! But Terence, I am against population control. You are? Condoms, abortions, and homosexuality are all abominations for the Vatican. We want to have more children, not limit them. You want more children? We all know why, you monstrous deviants! Wait a minute. Since overpopulation is a key cause of emissions, why not support liberating women and giving them control of their fertility? Wouldn't that be the best policy to reduce not just climate change, but also poverty? Look, I said hear the cry of the poor, not end it. If the poor became rich, we'd have even more polluting consumers to contend with. But that seems like a massive contradiction in your half faith. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Amen, vale. And thus we close, and thank Pope Francis for his verses. One thing's certain, it doesn't take persons of religious persuasion to appreciate the significance of this sermon. The battle occurring over climate change is first a battle of hearts and minds. And for better or worse, few entities on earth have sway over as many minds as the Catholic Church. Some think this ironic and absurd. Why heed the word of an archaic, passé, conservative institution barely emerged from a dark age? True, but doesn't that description equally apply to our own way of clinging to a bygone era's outdated perception of humanity's actual place in the fabric of the planet we live on. Which raises one key final question. Is this all just another empty pious vision? Or could religion for once inspire a worthy mission to go forth into the world and change not the climate, but the system?